Hi guys, this is Hare Krishna. Today I am back with a new video for uh, a new fix for your one of the Ubuntu issues. So the issues what I am going to talk about today and give you a solution is Ubuntu software center not working. So there could be various different reasons why it is not working. Uh, I am going to tell you about four to five fixes uh, which you can solve based on the condition what you are getting for uh, Ubuntu software center. So let's move ahead. Here are the fixes. I'll tell you the cases and I'll here are the fixes. Fine. Uh, so first of all, what is Ubuntu Software Center? Uh, Ubuntu Software Center makes your life easier for those who want to install uh, your favorite software. So there are no hassles of any uh, usage of terminal in this. So uh, that means there are no any command prompts to be executed or there are no any of the building things from source files. You don't need to build any of the source files or uh, no making of any uh, make files or executables of your own. So it allows uh, users to quickly search for software and packages which you want to install and then it automatically takes care of dependencies along the way of installing. So uh, this is how your software center looks guys. Uh, basically you have this uh, kind of thing window and uh, uh, this is your uh, software center logo on the left side uh, with a small A and uh, uh, a bag kind of thing. So uh, you have three tabs inside this. One is explore, installed and updates. So uh, this is how your new packages look like here, whichever you want to get installed or if you want to search for that, you can directly uh, click on the search button and then uh, search for uh, whatever software you require and then go ahead and install it. So sometimes what this happens is it doesn't properly get loaded. So this is the problem. Anyways, it is uh, a rare situation, but sometimes errors can happen uh, that cause the software center not to work. Uh, a, tr a little troubleshooting can help you uh, fix this uh, Ubuntu software center not working issues. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, various ways to fix this issue uh, and make Ubuntu software up and running for you guys so uh, please watch this video completely and uh, do like subscribe and share this video with any of your friends who are facing this issue so that their life becomes easier so this is a kind of life uh, making easier uh, solutions what I'm going to give so this is a fix one guys on the slide you can see uh, the fix one is sometimes software center doesn't load so this case is for software center not loading case so uh, if your software center GUI window loads up and doesn't show any of the uh, things. So even if it shows like in the next slide, then you are lucky like this one. If it shows like this, you are lucky. Uh, so this method does not require you to get into the terminal. So no command prompts as such on the top. You see that updates tab. Click on that. This updates tab where I'm showing you which is marked in red over here. So click on that. Then on top left, see that refresh button. Click that. We're talking about this refresh button. So you have to click on this and then it gets refreshed all the latest updates and it loads all the things. So then go ahead and install the things. So that is the fix one guys, which is pretty easy, which is a very simplest case. Now we're talking about fix two. Uh, which is software center not loading at all case okay the first case was software center loading but it is not working uh, then second case is software center not loading at all so what happens is ubuntu software center uh, gui fails to load uh, if you see a message such as unable to load from it usually means that it cannot read the local cache whatever is there inside your machines uh, so as it does not exist at all the local cache does not exist at all So it will not be able to read that in this case. You will need to open your terminal window uh, Which is the black or the purple one and enter these commands So open your terminal and enter the command which I'm going to show you in your next slide you can pause this here and uh, Type in the commands there simple commands. They're not very long commands. So uh, These are the commands to run for fix to so uh, the first command is sudo apt update ampersand ampersand 
sudo apt hyphen y upgrade so uh, if this command does not work you may need to reinstall genome software guys so for reinstalling genome software this is the command you need to run sudo apt auto remove genome dash software absent absent sudo apt install genome dash software so this you can pause this and you can type it properly in your terminal windows so after this you can also try this below command sudo apt update absent absent sudo apt dist upgrade dash f so these above commands should pull down the latest version of ubuntu from the internet uh, which might fix this issue so this is about your uh, fix too guys i hope uh, it will work with fix two itself if it doesn't solve with fix two then you please move on to fix three fix three is what case is this if you can't open terminal for any reason if you can't open for in a terminal itself for any reason for running those commands which I told you in fix 2 uh, this will be altogether a different issue uh, I will make a separate video for this uh, for you guys uh, uh, who have uh, this kind of terminal open problem so uh, you can look into my channel and search for it in my uh, list of videos for this particular issue so guys now uh, let's move on to fix 4 if fix 2 doesn't work if you have fix 3 then search for my video in the next uh, list of in my uh, channel list of videos then uh, if you have not solved it come to fix 4 which is corrupted cache case you have a corrupted cache so if ubuntu software uh, center is unable to read from cache that means your cache could be corrupted so this is a slightly trickier to deal and uh, different than the uh, other two which I uh, spoke about so something has gone wrong with the cached packages and Ubuntu Software Center cannot read them the main reason this is the main reason for this issue so for this what you have to do how do you solve this you have to run the following commands which I am going to present you in the next slide again guys these two are very simple commands you just can pause them and just type in them uh, so uh, there is no need for you to uh, cut paste copy them so uh, these are the commands to run for the fix 4 so go to your terminal and enter sudo apt clean the cache will now be completely clear with this command so then enter this new command sudo apt update this particular command sudo apt update pulls your clean package list on your machine uh, from the internet repositories and this should allow you to install software via the search from now onwards you should not have any problem if you have this kind of issue so then if your uh, problem is still not solved here then let's move on to fix 5 fix 5 is guys uh, if it is not showing any of the images or software packages over here so this is your uh, uh, Ubuntu software center and if it shows all blank boxes like this this is what is fix 5 so for this how do you solve this your software center windows opens up you search for software to install but occasionally uh, it shows all empty boxes like so like this so uh, in such a case you have to run these following commands in your terminal uh, shown on the next slide so these are the commands you have to run for fix 5 again these two are pretty simple commands which you can pause and then uh, type them on your terminal so uh, open the terminal you have to run the first command is kill all genome dash software so what this will do it will kill the software running in the software center uh, remove the genome file uh, software location with this particular uh, command tilde uh, forward slash dot local share this is the path guys where your genome software is located so type this in exactly as it is character to character without missing anything on your terminal then uh, you have to uh, run this command you have to remove the things uh, you have to run this command sudo rm hyphen rf tilde and this complete path for the genome software as it is without uh, missing any character so uh, in case guys if you are scared to delete any of the files like what i have given you in my previous command then please just uh, avoid deletion and then just move that genome software file to some new location or some new file name and then uh, it will also do the job so that is uh, a left up to you between these two choices then the software center should work fine 
uh, either ways so this is the fix five guys the commands what you have to run so uh, these are the five fixes what I'm going to give you what I've given you and out of these five fixes at least one should solve them and remember fix three is terminal not opening at all this is a critical case uh, for this I'll make a different video so if you have this issue then you have to uh, go to my channel and then look into uh, that particular video and uh, I would have given a fix over there so guys now uh, this is a to-do list uh, if any of this uh, helped you or if you have watched this video uh, please do show your support by clicking that like subscribe and notification bell uh, that will definitely uh, motivate me to bring more such uh, videos fixes and solutions for uh, Ubuntu thing uh, which will make your life definitely easier and save your time and make your system uh, fast and running okay uh, so please do share this with your uh, friends and family who are facing this problem uh, this is Hare Krishna signing off. I'll catch you in my next video. Thank you.